So I am Dr. Vipin Tiagi, Senior Consultant in Department of Urology, Robotic Surgery and Kidney Transplant. And today we'll be discussing about the robotic surgery. I'll be showing you the part of the robot which we used to do the robotic surgery. So I will be discussing about the part of the robot. So we have three parts. One is the console on which the surgeon sits and make the movement for the surgery which are being replicated on the patient side. The instrument goes to the side arm or which are docked to the patient. So this is a console which have a 3D screen and to watch the console we have to wear the 3D glasses. These are the grips on which we make the movements and these movements are being followed by the robotic arms on the patient's side. The advantage of these uh, movements is that I can move my fingers like any way which I want to do. I can uh, stop my movements, I can control my movement. I can control three instruments at one time. I can control all the movement of my currents and the energy sources by my foot pedal. So this console provides me the insight vision of the patient body which has been there by the robotic arms. So these arms has two parts. One of the arm which is the center one is the camera arm through which the camera goes inside and we have a vision of whatever is happening inside the patient body. And these are the working arm and the surgeon who is making the movement at the robotic console these movement are being transmitted to these arms in a real time manner and whatever movement was made there are being followed here so by doing this we are avoiding giving big incision on the patient body and putting this instrument through a keyhole port and controlling your instrument from the robotic console